Okay, so we lost against Sheffield United. And our unbeaten run at home has come to an end. But now we've got to get ready, dust ourselves down and get set for a big clash this weekend. Northwest rivalry on the line up against Bolton Wanderers. We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview. This time, looking forward to Blackburn Rovers' next match in the Championship up against Northwest rivals Bolton Wanderers, boys and girls. Now, we'll get to that in just one second. Now, if you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up today with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. So, let's kick us, kick us forward now to this weekend where we're going to take on Bolton Wanderers at the Macron Stadium. Now, the match will take place on October the 6th. And Bolton are currently managed by Phil Parkinson. And last season, the boys, uh, the Wanderers, uh, finished 21st in the Championship. So they, they, they survived by the skin of their teeth uh, to remain in the Championship. Now, the key man for me this season is Oren Utsoma. He's not, he's not kicked off just yet, but we know what he's capable of. He was even linked to Rovers at some stage uh, the past 12 months, 18 months, something like that. But in the end, at the end of his Walsall contract, he went to Bolton. And the last time that these two sides met was back on the 28th of December, 2015. And it was at Bolton. And the result was 1-0 to Bolton. So, uh, um, in fact, we've yet to, we haven't won there since 2009. So, we're a long time overdue. Nearly knocking on 10 years now. Um, so, we need to get a result and we need to get one fast. Now, the two sides have met 170 times in all competitions over the years. Uh, Rovers winning 62 of them. Uh, we've drawn 38 and we've lost 70 of them. Anyway, let's kick forward. Take a look at my expected start 11 for uh, Bolton, uh, the, the hosts. Now, I, I think they'll have Matthews in goal. Grounds, Wilson, uh, Hobbs and Orkowski at the right back. Williams, uh, Jason Lowe uh, as a familiar face. Uh, Noon, uh, Buckley, McGuinness and Otzheimer up front. Let's take a look at the statistics now for Bolton this season. McGuinness currently tops the pops with three goals to his name. Buckley has two, Wiltshire has two and Noon has one. As for the yellows, McGuinness also tops that one with three yellows. Wheat has got two, Noon's got two and Buckley has two. As for reds, Wilson has the, uh, the coveted hotspot of the only guy with a red card. Now let's take a look at the last five fixtures for uh, Bolton. So last time out they took on uh, Stoke City at uh, the Bet365 and they lost 2-0 before that. They took on Derby County at the Macron Stadium and they won 1-0. Uh, and that was on the 29th of September before that they took on Ipswich Town at Portman Road. That uh, was a tw Saturday the 22nd of September. That ended in a 0-0 draw. Before that they lost to Middlesbrough at their gaff Wednesday 19th of September. And all the way back, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so Saturday, the 15th of September, Bolton Wanderers lost to QPR at their own gaff. Anyway, let's take a look forward at their next few fixtures at uh, for, for Bolton over the next uh, wee while. Uh, they'll take on, obviously, Rovers this weekend. Then they take on Rotherham after the international break at their gaff before taking on Nottingham Forest back at the Macron Stadium. Uh, that's on Wednesday, 24th of October. They also take on Hull on Saturday, the 27th of October, also at the Macron. And then they'll wrap it up, the next five fixtures, up against Aston Villa, Friday, the 2nd of November, under the sky cameras. Anyway, let's take a look at how I think Rovers will line up uh, this time out. Ryer in goal, Williams, Mogu, Lennon and Bennett, Armstrong, Evans, uh, Rothwell and Reed. Uh, Bradley Dak and Big DG up front. Now this form, this formation is pretty much the same, the tried and trusted one. And uh, uh, you know there is a little bit of deliberation now. Maybe we should be looking at some alternative formations. Um, but this is the tried and trusted one, and I think we'll we will still go with that um, against uh, Bolton. Now I think there should be some changes uh, in midfield uh, and trying to revert back to our strongest possible. Um, back four, obviously Raya, strongest goalkeeper. Williams, I feel, is, is our strongest left back. Mulgrew, Lenehan is our best centre back partnering, partnering, and Bennett is the best right back we have on the books right now. Obviously, Naimbi is out. And then into midfield, Evans has been a no brainer. Uh, I think Rothwell should come in now. Uh, he, he provides a lot of energy um, and grit. He's, he's not as creative as maybe Palmer. Uh, so that's an option we have on the bench. Um, so I think Rothwell and then Harrison Reed should also be included somewhere as well because those Reed and Rothwell both energetic, both seem to be uh, running their lungs out. 
um, and I and I like their their attitude and their their effort recently. It's in the same vein as as Bennett. So that right hand side currently, as it looks on this graphic, is stacked with people that are going to run their brains out. And then obviously Dak and Graham, their understanding is second to none. And Armstrong should keep his place because he has been in a good bit of form recently. Anyway, let's take a look at the statistics for Rovers. This is not much has changed obviously since the last game against Sheffield United, but uh, Bradley Dak has seven goals to his name. Armstrong has four. Uh, Graham has three, and Charlie Mongo has three. As for the yellows, Darren Lennon has five, Bennett has three, Evans has three, and Palmer has two. And Derek Williams is the only man in the books with one yellow goal red card. As for the last five fixtures for Rovers, obviously last time out we did lose to Sheffield United at Ewood Park to lose that unbeaten run, which is a bit of a bit of a pill, bitter pill to swallow. Then we also uh, drew with the Nottingham Forest 2-2. That was on Saturday, the 29th of September, also at Ewood Park. Before that, we lost to Bournemouth 3-2 in the Carabao Cup down at uh, Bournemouth, and that was on uh, Tuesday, 25th of September. Uh, before that, we beat Stoke at about 3.65. We won 3-2, and that was on Saturday, 22nd of September. And all the way back, uh, we took on uh, Derby County at their place, uh, Tuesday, 18th September, and that was a nil-nil draw. So let's take a look at the next five fixtures for Blackburn Rovers. Obviously, we're talking about it right here, right now. It is this Saturday's matchup against Bolton Wanderers at the Macron Stadium, and you can catch that live under the, car under the sky cameras. After the old international break back, uh, which will be Saturday, 24th October, it's a tasty one. It's Rovers up against Leeds United at Ewood. Park and that is an early kickoff, so looking forward to that one. Uh, after that, we take on Swansea City at their place, uh, Tuesday, 23rd of October, also on the old Sky Cameras red button business. Uh, after that, we take on West Bromwich Albion at their gaff, Saturday, 27th of October, and into the month of November, we go. It is Rovers up against QPR at Ewood Park. So, um, in fact, let's uh, kick on further. Uh, we'll look at the the, uh, the form books in just a second. But anyway, what else is going on this weekend? Leeds are taking on Brentford at the top of the table. Clash. Uh, sure. Swansea City taking on one of their strugglers, Ipswich Town. Uh, Middlesbrough against Nottingham Forest. That'll be a tasty one. Norwich up against Stoke will also be another tasty one. And uh, Preston up against Wigan. Another Northwest clash. There's a up other couple matches in there. Also, Millwall taking Aston Villa, who recently sacked Steve Bruce. Uh, how about the current table? It looks like this. Leeds are top of the pops. Uh, on the same amount of points as Middlesbrough and Sheffield United on 22, West Brom, Norwich and Brentford occupy the uh, the rest of the playoff spots. As for the bottom, Millwall, Ipswich and Preston are struggling. Uh, but for Bolton and Blackburn, mid-table clash here. Bolton are 15th and Rose are 14th, uh, both on 15 points. Um, but Bolton have won four games. We have only won three. We're a bit, we are the draw meisters of the, of the division, us and Aston Villa. In fact, no, Birmingham are. They've drawn eight. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the form books here. This is this is where um, you know we might be able to decipher something here. Now Bolton's home form is like this: they've played five, they've drawn two, uh, they've drawn one, they've lost two, and they've won two. So they've had seven points out of a possible fifteen. As for Rovers' away form, we've got eight points on the board: two wins, two draws, and one defeat. So not too bad. Um, yeah, it's it's we are eighth. Got the eighth best away form. Bolton have got the 17th best home form. We've actually only got the 16th best home form. As for Bolton's away form, is is in ninth in the table. So pretty even steam. So anyway, take a look at the statistic for top, top goal scorer at the moment. It is still Neil Mappe for Brentford with nine goals. Billy Sharp is now in second spot with Jay Rodriguez and John Dombardi Bombardson. Uh, they all got seven goals to the name. And Dwight Gale wraps up the top five. As for the assists, uh, Said Barima for Brentford, currently top assist maker with four. And then there's a big old long list, uh, including. No Rovers players are in there, but uh, El Ahmed Al Hamadi is in there with three. Barry Douglas is in there with three. Ben Osborne's in there with three. Um, Kieran Gibbs is also in there with three. Anyway, so it's it's going to be a tough one. Obviously, uh, a lot of local pride on the line, and I, I think obviously we're going into the international break after this game. So the last time that happened, we lost to Bristol City. Um, and we had to chew on that for a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping we can get something, if not all three points from this one. Because I think the form book's going to go out the window. I think this there's, there's a lot more on the line in these kind of games. It just, it just feels like uh, home advantage goes out the way. Everything Everything's thrown out of the way. It's just basically uh, 11, 11 men against 11 duking it out for 90 minutes. Uh, and I expect it to be feisty. I, don't, I will not rule out a red card for either side. Um, especially when once once it gets close to the kickoff, we can start feeling the, the tension between the two sets of fans. So it's going to be tough. Will one moment of magic by Bradley Dak and, and D, Big DG settle it? That's a, that's a possibility. But um, if I had to call it, 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I just feel Rovers need something. I don't expect them to get something, but I, I think they need something and they need it fast because it would be an ideal tonic to go into that international break with a win, three points on the board, and then they'll look a little bit more promising in the league table because currently right now, despite, um, you know, we despite the amount of points that separate 15th to like eighth, there's only a couple of points in there. It would just feel a lot better if we can get ourselves more into the top 10 and then we can build on that after that. Now, over the years, a number of players have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Bolton. Here are just three of them in my Premier League winning edition of Play for Both. Kicking it off is this guy, now a lawyer or solicitor. It is Stuart Ripley. That's right. He did don the old uh, white jersey of Bolton Wanderers. He also donned the old blue and white for Blackburn Rovers in the old Premier League winning years. Uh, how about this guy, Paul Warhurst. Also don the old blue and white for Blackburn Rovers as well as Bolton Wanderers jersey. Uh, I think he was on the books at our gaff before he went over to Bolton towards back in the career. Same goes for this guy, Colin Braveheart Henry. Obviously, uh, ever present. Well, not ever present, but he was he was a key factor in us winning the title in 94, 95. Here he is in, in his youth. He must have been only a whippersnapper there, 20 years old, maybe, maybe even younger. But there he is with his full head of hair uh, for his days in Bolton towards the back end of his career. But yes... Hendry, Warhurst and Ripley are Premier League winners and have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Bolton. Now, if you want a full list of all players that have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Bolton, why don't you head over to my WordPress site. Links to that bad boy in the old description below. It will have the whole detailed list there so you can be the kingpin of your buds. Now, you've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the match. Now, what you really want to hear is what Cast the Cat has predicted for this match. What she predicted between Blackburn and Bolton. Let's take a look. Right, awesome. Uh, she's been on a good bit of a good streak of, of, of yet, of recent times. Um, she's not got that many wrong. Obviously, we don't do the draw, so there's there's not that outcome to, to, to add to her, you know, incorrect answers. But anyway, she has predicted Rovers this time out. So, also, if you want to check out a Cast the Cat app, there is one. It's 100% free. No in-game uh, purchases, no ads, no initial purchase. It's 100% free. Just a bit of fun. Link to that bad boy at the end of the video and also in the description. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe. It'll keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, whoa, football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Also, check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there. Plus the Cast the Cat app. Uh, let me hear your thoughts and opinions about this upcoming game and Rovers season so far in the old comments section below. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to get all three points or are Bolton going to come away with a sneaky cheeky victory? Let me hear your thoughts in the old comments section below. But yes, wrapping it up uh, towards the international break. It'll calm down a little bit on my channel. Just a hair. But you can still get all the other good content on the old FIFA 19 career modes on there. My bad FM is going to still be rocking and rolling. And there might be some other bits and pieces. I'm expecting my walkout shirt, my Rovers walkout shirt, coming over pretty soon. So I might do an a in-depth look at the old walkout shirt when that gets here. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>